you know what? I, I tend to always just rest my heels on that. Um, and what's interesting about this footboard is I find it harder to push through my heels, so I, that's one thing I, ha I feel like I have to focus more on, um, partly because the angle that you start at. So, um, yeah, that looks good. Ready to go? Right about there? Yeah, so as long as you feel like you've got that, that, that curve in the right place, then that's fine. Okay. Yeah, just keep that neutral spine all the way through, and away we go. Nice, so you see what I mean there about the foot paddle move a little bit, so make sure that tension is through the heels all the way through. Nice pace. Make sure we come right back. Just touch the way it's there. Nice job. Nice job, Simon. Great reps. Same condition as James Steele, you've got these veins in your legs that stick out. <laughs> yeah, we could have gone heavier than this. <laughs> you wouldn't rush the way of this. Well, he's still gonna have to still gonna have to go to failure, so yeah. only makes it harder. Nice job. Great work. Great job of keeping that weight through the heels. Toes just lifting slightly. Awesome. Not pausing at the extended position. Nice job. Nice and steady back. Straight up the bottom. Nice job, Simon. These are the reps now. Let's keep going with this. Still got loads in the tank. These are great reps. Looking for Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Way to fight through it. Come on, let's finish this off, finish this set, let's go. Begin. Nice job, nice job, nice and slow at the bottom here. Good, stick it, stick it, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. There you go, there we go. Go on, more in there, more in there, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, relax there, relax there. Put your legs down. Sorry, okay. we dropped the weight down probably to what you're in there. That was 260 there? Maybe 170. 170. Yeah, that'll be it. Okay. That'll be the job. Thank you. Point you can feel really feel that build of the of the low as you get towards the end of the rep. Nice job. Great work, Simon. Nice reps. Nice control all the way through it. Nice pace. Nice movement. Let's go, you've got a few more in there, let's go, really dig in, really dig in, good work, nice and slow back all the way, good work, right to the top, let's go, finish this rep, finish this rep, finish this rep, there you go, nice, slow back, slow back, slow back, as soon as you touch down, begin this next rep, great job, let's go, push through it, push through it, push through it, heels in, heels in, heels in, there we go, nice job, nice and steady, nice and slow back, Hands down, nice and slow, nice and slow, nice and slow. We're going to try this last one. Okay, and dig heels in. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Three, two, one, and relax. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. They need to be really. Okay. 
Yeah. You really <laughs> feel that strength, Kurt. Thank you. Yeah. <sighs> when, you, when you're in, um, in that position where you're brought right forward, you feel it a lot more. But when you're more upright, because you can't physically get that much closer to it, you don't get the same almost extension in the machine, so you don't feel the strength curve as much. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's a, that's a mean old protocol, that double. It's pretty brutal, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Arguably, our breakdown set study suggests it didn't matter if you start heavy or start normal, but... Absolutely. I love the, I love the protocols, but my research is just Although, although uh, Ozaki's uh, pilot study was interesting. Yeah. Um, with respect to, they did, um, one of the conditions went like, I think it was sim similar in that, that, I don't know, it was heavy load, light load, or um, a heavy to light drop set. That's right. And of course, in terms of growth was similar across all the conditions, but the heavy load increased one RM more um, than the light load. The light load increased endurance more than the heavy load, and the drop set, that started heavy and worked its way down, increased one RM and endurance to a similar degree, yeah. both heavy and light load. So it's like- Specificity in action. Yeah. Absolutely. But it's a nice way of getting both. the best of both worlds. Yeah. In that sense. Okay. We good? Some great control, great rep duration. Nice steady posture, keep that back against the pad, feet flat on the floor. Really good. It's really good, Simon. Great control. Really good focus. Let's keep that moving. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. There you go, you've got that. Yeah, nice and slow back, nice and steady back. We'll go for one more, we'll do a drop. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. There you go. There we go. Finish that rep. You got that. You got that. There we go. Nice and slow. Nice and steady. The shoulders come down. Okay, let's That's only a small drop, so we'll try and get a few out of this. Let's go. Let's go, push it, push it, push it, really focus. Awesome job. On the way down, bring those abs back in, shoulders down, nice and controlled. Great work, great work. Alright, we're ready. Last few reps, this is it, let's go. It's worth saying for the camera, these drops have been very, very small, that's why each, uh, each successive set is not much easier. Let's go. Drive it, drive it, really drive out. Well, Try and move get, fast now, Simon. We'll get two more, no more than two more out of this. Nice and steady back. Let's like do negatives. The well, last one will be like a negative. Let's go. There you go. Great job. Awesome work. Awesome work. Awesome work. Nice and slow back. And let's get a negative. Let me bring it out. Got it? Yeah. Wipe it back. Slowly, slow as you can, slow as you can, slow as you can, slow as you can. Great control, great control. Oh, yeah. oh. <sighs> okay, okay. <laughs> neck sounds great. <laughs> oh yeah, neck we're doing rest pause. I tend to get my feet forward and flat and then let my body come back a little bit. Again, build a Simone kind of lean the body back so it's not coming straight in line with the shoulders, you know what I mean? So you're almost at, at that angle rather than that angle. Yeah. 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 Okay. Nice job, nice rep. Great control. You understand? Yeah, and, and this It's groaning. Great control. Body is absolutely perfect. We're still there. Great trunk control. 
Awesome reps. Really good. Get that squeeze in the scapula as well. Great job. Just have a nice stretch at the top. That's going to come out and pull it back in. Brilliant. Great reps. Fight that down. Fight that down. Yes, way to fight through that. I'm going to help you out with this last rep, that's it. Squeeze it. Let's go. Nice right, control. Right, control. Right, right, right. Really drive through it. You've got this. Keep fighting it down. Keep fighting it down. Awesome work. Great job. Keep going. Keep going. Let's finish off this rep. Finish off this rep. Get to the bottom. Give it a squeeze. Nice. And then nice and slow out. All yours. You control it. Way to control the negative. Great job. That's awesome. Yeah, get that. Nice job. Thank you. <laughs> and we're just going to go just a straight set to failure. If you only get a few reps, though, we might um, do a drop set like Fisher did. So it's all yours when you're out, ready. So just keep the movement nice and slow and controlled. This is one of those movements where even if it feels heavy, just keep it slow and just grind against it. You do a lot of isometric neck training, so just feel like it's a really slow isometric. at the bottom, squeeze that first inch, now drive the extension, good, keep yourself up against the pad, good, don't worry too much about hyperextending, just get towards that full extension, touch and squeeze, and drive, 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 extend, good, good, keep pushing, good, can give you a tiny little bit of assistance, good, just hold it there, and now very slowly down, we're going to leave it there. Control it to the bottom. Good. And relax. Nice. Oh. Feel good? Yeah, that feels so weird. It's weird having like yeah. a pump almost in your neck. Yeah. It is. Oh. I remember the first time I trained on one of these at Kiza in London? Vienna. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it was, it was weird. And we woke up the next day and went like, oh man, why have I got Doms in my neck. <laughs> I remember now. Right, okay. We tend to find that you don't want to go too far back into extension at the bottom of this range. So you say when again. Back there. Okay, so keep your body in that position like that and just slowly start to flex. You feel like you're bringing your chin down to your chest. You feel like it slides a little. This is what I mean. Weight wise, yeah, good way. Can you stick to that? Just continue on, uh, yeah. Let me fill out one more, but I think probably okay, yeah, that's good. That's nice. Same as with extension, just squeeze it and then drive the forehead into the pad and pull your chin down to your chest. Good work. Good work.
first time. Good. Drive it, drive it. That's all you. And some control. Just touch and squeeze. Okay. Now drive against it. Drive against it. Drive against it. And stop that. Good. Oh, nice. Wow. Failure came on that one super <laughs> quick. Like when it came, it came. It's sudden, yeah. Out of yeah. blue. Yeah. Whoa. Nice work. Oh, yeah. Definitely get to a point where you finish the last rep and then you can't even start the next one. Yeah. You can't even yeah. move it. Yeah. 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 Or, or, Just you, or you start a rep and it feels easy and halfway through it, you've got nothing. Yeah, it's exactly how yeah. I felt then. Like, that last negative was like, this is scary. And I'm never going to be able to push into this. Right, right. And, and, and like I ne I've never done assisted or negatives or anything on that. Now and then, because of the nature of the setup, now and then you can kind of manage your own assisted reps. So if, ah, you, yeah. if you get to this point and you can't finish it, you can kind of help bring it forward here once you know where the kind of grip is and then slowly control your own negative. Yeah. But you can kind of give yourself confidence with that. You know what Very I mean? Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a two finger uh, brick there for it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You never normally need any more than that. It's, uh, it's got a 300 pound weight stack on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I feel like a fighter pilot coming off of that. <laughs> or a Formula One driver. It's the kind of training they should be doing all the time. Yeah. It's, they it, do do a lot of neck training, but they've got some really strange setups yeah. to do it when you think like, actually, in reality, this is quite a simple piece of kit. The, I mean, this you'll do four way on this. You can do lateral flexion mm. as well, mm. but I would never do flexion extension and lateral flexion both ways at the same workout. Mm. I don't only ever do flexion extension or lateral flexion. Yeah, it just is. They work with the same muscles as well, aren't they? Just yeah, essentially. Yeah. 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 Fight through it now. Dig in. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. Great job. Great job. Way to fight through that. Calm on the way down. Calm. Calm. Pause and straight into it. Now explode through it. Let's go. Accelerate into it. Accelerate through it. Lift, 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 lift. Nice job. Nice job. Awesome. Oh, that'll do nicely. Oh.